a message to all the black men that support this red pill manosphere community, right? Especially dealing with women. I mean, got, I guess you have different reason to be in the manosphere, but this red pill type ideology. They're laughing at you, bro. These women are laughing at you. Look, y'all think that y'all are winning something. Y'all not. Y'all are wasting y'all best years, spending them online in anger and bitterness and hatred, posting things and making mockery of, you know, and laughing at women. Not, not making mockery, but laughing at women's misfortunes or, you know, criticizing everything they say. A woman tells you her truth and y'all find some way to twist it and make, you know, make it all about how bad women are and all kinds of stuff. But these women are not losing. Y'all are. Look at what this, this young lady, B. Taylor, said about y'all. Now, she asked an interesting question, right? She said, what is your definition of a high-value man? Is it about money? Does character even matter? And has this moving, movement been hijacked? These are good questions that I myself have been trying to address since I've been on YouTube for the last two months. And y'all get mad at me. You know, it's, it's, it's amazing how y'all just want to hear what you want to hear. But I don't know how that's going to help you. Do you want help? Because the first thing this young lady says is that you men need therapy. And y'all use women for therapy. Did I not say that y'all come on YouTube for therapy? I'm going to see in the edit, when I edit this video, if I can find the... the the, the comment of the guy that got mad at me for saying just that. You're feeling something. You, you know something is wrong. You know, you want to make a change. But you're going about it wrong. You are letting the wrong types of men lead you. And she is right. This, this sister is seeing exactly what I'm seeing. I'm not on the black women's side by no stretch of imagination. There is not enough men getting therapy. They use women as therapy. Right now, a lot of these corny, corny dudes have taken that high value man, the, the movement of it, and tainted it. And when she says, she said these corny men have taken over this high value man concept and corrupted it. That's true. That is true. A nigga putting on a suit does not make him special. It's a suit. It's clothing. It's a suit, people. Even if they look nice in the suit, some of the brothers do look nice in the suit, you know what I'm saying? Shit, props, brother. Shit, I ain't mad at you. Fuck, where the head pitch, you know what I'm saying? But it don't mean nothing. It's a suit. Y'all y'all are being led by the wrong kinds of men. But listen to what the young lady said. What is an alpha male? Because this generation, and definition of an alpha male, what a lot of these men are portraying, I don't wanna be involved in. I don't want an alpha male, give me a beta. Give me a beta. Because if Future is an alpha male, and Russell Wilson is a beta, I want the beta. And she goes on to give a reason, but let me tell you about this thing. Where the misconception coming at. Future is not an alpha in nobody's book, bro. He's not. He's not. He's not an alpha. He's an uncivilized brute. That's what he is. He acts like an uncivilized brute. Alphas are not uncivilized and they're not brutish. Alphas are very enlightened. Alpha strength comes from principle. Alpha strength comes from code. Alpha strength comes from morals. Alpha strength comes from God. Dude like Future has no God concept in his bones. You know what I'm saying? He is an uncivilized mofo. And that's why it, it could come off as elferish, but that's not what you're seeing. You're just seeing a type of strength that's like a wild animal. That, that's the type of strength he represents. An alpha strength is topped off. Look, the Sphinx, right? The Sphinx. The Sphinx has a lion's body with a man's head. That's an alpha. That's an alpha. The lion's body with a man head, that's an alpha. The strength of the lion, the heart of a lion, but the cerebralness of a god, that's an alpha. Dudes like Future don't possess that. He's just a brute. 
And there's a difference. But it brings up a very interesting thing, right? That you that you dudes are gonna have to pay attention to, man. And look, brothers, look, let me tell y'all something. I'm gonna do a video talking about this. Y'all have to stop defending positions in people. Y'all cannot be cult the person, cults of personality. Y'all can't become cults of personality. And you can't become cults of ideology. Y'all need to stop defending positions, man. I'm trying to, I'm trying to show you something. I'm not trying to tell you to be a simp. I'm not trying to make you weaken up your positions. And I'm not doing none of that. I'm trying to give you a better understanding of what it is you need to be doing so that you can get yourself together as a man. You are letting the wrong types of men teach you and lead you. And you are, and you are fighting and rejecting real information. But it's raised something important. According to what I've been seeing in these red pill, black red pill type spaces and black manosphere type spaces for the most part, is that y'all y'all give black women shit if they want a man like Future because y'all see him as just a rich pookie. And then y'all give him shit for wanting a man like Russell Wilson because y'all see him as just a weak simp. And then y'all take these two archetypes, right? They become straw men, they become representations of every man that women like. He's gonna either fall under the pookie category or he's gonna fall under the simp category. But the men that don't do well with women at all, y'all put them in a high value man category. And if y'all can't see that something is wrong with that, I don't know what to tell you. There's something wrong with that. So you only fall in one or two categories with y'all if, if, if you have women or women. You either pookie or simp. But the men that have neither, the men that don't have women in their lives, the men that struggle, <laughs> they somehow become high value men. Y'all gotta see something that's wrong with that. Perception has been misconstrued on social media of what a real alpha male is. There's a lot of men walking around right now. I'm an alpha male. I'm an alpha male. I got a job. I'm an adult. I'm doing adult things the way everybody's supposed to do things. And and I have a job and I have a car and I have a place to live. So I'm an alpha male. It's like, are you, are, are you just being an adult? She is right again. She is right again. They have, they have completely misconstrued what it means to be a man. And this is why I'm here. I am the only person on YouTube saying what I'm saying and you brothers are scared of it. I'm dropping jewels here. I'm telling y'all the truth. This, this shit has been redefined to a, in a way that has nothing to do with manhood anymore. She asked the question, does character matter? Yes, character matter, but not according to the high value men. They never mention character. Think about it, man. Go, if, if, if you can look at my old, go through channels to channel, look for Brother Kush and look at my comments. I've been saying it for years on these channels. I never hear y'all mention anything about character. Never hear y'all mention character. But I've heard several of these women that y'all try to make fun of, that y'all try to attack talk about character and the second they talk about character the high value men come out in droves like oh you see what i'm saying she don't know what she's talking about forget character i got money nah man don't work that way bro and it's time y'all recognize it don't work that way y'all been misled it's not your fault you've been tricked but the sooner you accept that you've been duped the more the quicker i can help you the quicker I can, once you accept that you've been duped, I can step in and help you. Are you an alpha male? What is the requirement of an alpha male? Because a lot of these men are walking around calling themselves alpha male, but they're not. They're more so corny men who never got play and they finally got some money and now they want to dictate and tell other men how to treat women when they never used to even get women ever. That never got played when it was coming up. Finally come across a little money from their job or whatnot. And then they want to start to turn around and try to dictate things on women because they got a little money. You know, and they're going to have some women that's going to bow because of economics, right? Economics become their power. And then they turn around and start trying to tell other men how to deal with women when the truth is, They've never had women 
for themselves. Even the women they have now are only there transactionally. They don't have any women in their lives that like them, so they can't tell you how to get a woman. Because a transactional relationship is a transactional relationship. You don't want that. You don't want that. You don't want that, man, because you're missing out on one of the most important things inside the relationship. Love. I'm not going to say no more. Y'all need to stop letting this stuff happen. Because y'all think y'all women but winning, but these ladies are laughing at y'all. Y'all think y'all are winning, but these ladies are laughing at y'all. Just like the lady talking about the past poor brothers. She was talking about the white boys. The white boys told me we're going to get women from Romania. She was like, well, we supposed to start acting like women from Romania? <laughs> we not going to do it. You know what I'm saying? I mean... Like, like Andrew Tate, when he talks about how women in Romania are so much better. Like, what, what woman in this country is like, oh my God, I need to start acting like Romanian women. They are laughing at you and y'all y'all constantly making these videos trying to twist it and spin it like something is wrong with the women. They are laughing at y'all. Y'all are not winning this fight. I'm sorry, brothers. You're sitting around waiting for the women to get older so you can talk about how the wall catch up with a man. It's going to catch up with him later, but I'm, I'm a man. I stay youthful. No, you don't. Your hormones are going to change. Look all the weight I got on me. I've never been this goddamn big, man. I hit 40, man. I couldn't keep the weight off. I'm in that gym, man, pumping high like a mom, try, 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 trying to keep some kind of semblance of shape, man, because, and I, and I eat healthy. And the weight just stays on. Our foods are full of hormones and hormone altering chemicals. This is why I eat only organic. This is why I don't eat out anymore. I eat healthy, man, but look at this. And y'all think there's no wall for men? I don't have no hair. I had a head full of curly hair. I was a damn pretty boy. Mouth full of gold teeth, curly hair. Man, them hoes used to love me when I was young. Now I'm old and ugly. I done gained all this weight. The wall is real for us all. And y'all sitting around waiting for women to get old so you can have some kind of aha moment. But guess what? You're getting old too. You are getting old too. Don't let your life slide by listening to these dudes, man. Don't do it. You're making these dudes money. You are a product to them. Well, their rhetoric is a product. You are a customer base to them. You are dollar signs to them. They don't, and these men have no integrity because to be honest, I couldn't do what O'Shea do. I couldn't troll Twitter and Instagram and world star hip hop just so I could talk about people all day. I couldn't do that. I couldn't do what the book of Alpha Ron and me do. I couldn't troll Twitter and Instagram and world star hip hop looking for stories to talk about people all day. I couldn't do that. But what I am going to do, since they want to all talk about people, I'm going to start talking about them. This is going to be my new direction. I'm going to use other YouTube content, and I'm going to show you what's real and what's not, just like I did here. Y'all get mad at these ladies, but this lady was right. The only thing she said wrong, maybe, maybe, is that she wasn't clear about what she meant by they need therapy. I don't think you brothers need therapy, but y'all do use this YouTube stuff for therapy. She's right about that. I don't think y'all need therapy. Y'all just need some truth. Y'all need to be told some truth. Y'all need to be told something that not that is not what you want to hear, but something that, that's what you need to hear. Y'all need to be told something differently. That's my thing. I don't think y'all need therapy. So that's the only thing I think she was wrong about. Well, that's the only thing I know. Well, I guess that's. That, see, that's opinionated. Because, I mean, some of you dudes' mental states is fragile right now. Y'all really fucked up, man, because y'all been lied to so much by this system, by the society, by men y'all trusted. Y'all don't know which way is up right now, man. And when y'all hear a brother like me talk, y'all get mad at me. Because, first of all, I look like Pookie. That's the first thing you don't like. I look too much like the kinds of dudes that you don't like. Because he's the kind of dudes that women like. And that's the first hurdle you got to get over. Stop being angry about that, man. My life is not your life, bro. 
my my experiences are already done. There is nothing none of y'all could do or say to change what I've already done. There is nothing nobody can do to change what I've already experienced. My shit is already in the bank. It's already done. The deeds are already written in the book. It's history. It's done. You got to get yours. Looking at me and being mad at me because I represent the kind of dude that, that, that you feel like you're competing against when you're not. Because for every woman that like a man like me, they got five that like a man like you. You got to remember, y'all think that men like me got it easy to be, but, but women... Women have a very strange relationships with men, with men like me. They have a real love hate relationship with men like me. Yeah, we attract women. You know, what I'm saying we got the certain thing about a certain je ne sais quoi about ourselves that 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 that, that, that lure women to us. But them women don't like that shit, bro. Man, you don't know how many women I dealt with in the past that hated the fact that they like me so much. Y'all don't know what it's like to be a man like me, man. This stuff ain't all gravy, bro. This gets rough. It gets rough. These women are, they are strange. But you are losing your life to them. You are losing this battle because you're, you're, what you're doing is you're fighting a physical war in a virtual reality. Oh, that's it. That's what you're doing wrong. You are, you are fighting a physical war in a virtual reality. And you think you're winning because you're on this simulation, you know, doing your thing, you know what I'm saying? And you think that you're winning, but then when you come out in the real world, you get reminded that you haven't won anything and it depresses you. You get angry, you get bitter. And then you click on a video like mine and the dude not saying what you want to hear because this is your world now. You know, YouTube is your world. This is why she said y'all come here for therapy. This is your world. You don't want to hear no truth. You need to hear what you need to hear. You need to hear you okay, it's not your fault. You know, all these bad women, blah, blah, blah. That's what you need to hear. They just want these pokies, they just want these sims, but you're, you're a high value man, you're a strong man, you're a good man, that's what you want to hear. So you avoid anything else, you, you look at me on screen, click, you don't want to hear a word I say because you know I represent the man that you hate, but why do you hate me? What in the hell have I done to you? What have I done to you? You don't even know me. You looking at my moves, my swag, my style, and you are mad at me. You hear what I'm saying? I, I'm talking differently from these men that y'all listen to. So you get mad at me. But why are you mad at me? Should, should, should you not want to hear another side of the story? Should you? I'm telling you about reality. In fact, my me and my wife just walked over to a community event in, in a community where I live. I, told, I live in a lively community, right? And couples everywhere everywhere black couples white couples latina couples mixed couples foreign middle eastern indian couples couples everywhere everywhere so when i try to talk to y'all i'm trying to talk to y'all about the real world there's a reality in how the men that are married move and what i'm trying to do as a man that's married is share that with you so, so that you can see the difference or, or the gap between the rhetoric that you're hearing in your virtual world and the reality of the real world. And you could try to make the difference up on your own time in your own way. I'm just trying to give you the facts. Because you are fighting a physical war, a physical war in a virtual world and you, and you are falsely believing that you are winning. When the truth is, these women are laughing at y'all. Y'all are not winning. They laughing at you. Y'all have no political power. Y'all not leading nothing. Y'all not more important than y'all think y'all are. And I'm telling my brothers, I'm, I'm, I'm only trying to help y'all because I still think y'all could be, y'all could be the one, man. And you gotta stop trying to fight a real war in assimilation. It don't work that way. It just don't work that way. You want to deal with the real world, you got to come out here in the real world.
I represent the real world. People like Book of Alpharonomy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, Mediocre Tutorials, you know what I'm saying? He's not that bad. Mediocre ain't that bad. She used him as an example. That brother ain't that bad, you know what I'm saying? But these people, the Red Pill community, the Manosphere, they represent a virtual world. They represent a simulation. I'm telling you about the real world. I'm Brother Kush, AKA the Black Alpha. I need you to like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon. Man, look, tell people about it. And, and please, tell me what you think. Don't be shy. If you hear the video, make a comment. You know what I'm saying? I'm out of here till next time. Salam.